Now, a deadly bombing in southern Philippines on Sunday killed at least four people during Catholic mass. Over 50 others were injured. Islamic State militants claimed responsibility for the attack and they did that on social media. Philippines President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. condemned the killings. Security measures were reinforced in the southern regions and around the capital city of Manila. The U.S. has also condemned the horrific terrorist attack, expressing solidarity with the Philippines. U.S. and Philippine authorities increased security measures in schools. Mindanao State University has, ex has suspended classes till further notice. Defense Secretary of Philippines also assured that law enforcement operations to bring the perpetrators to justice will continue without a pause. We shall leave no stone unturned in order to root out the perpetrators of this heinous crime. Uh, let us remember that this was done in a religious uh, occasion uh, in, in, in Marawi and uh, the intent really to uh, foment a terrorist, acti a terrorist uh, activity of, to, to foment confusion, chaos, is a prime indicia of a terrorist activity. Meanwhile, survivors of the bombing shared harrowing accounts from their hospital beds. In Rome, Pope Francis offered prayers for the victims during his Sunday address. He appealed for strength to turn away from violence and overcome evil with a good in a written message. Now, the blast occurred in Marawai a city that Islamist militants had captured and held for five months back in 2017. The violence forced over 350,000 residents to flee the city. The southern Philippines is home to many minority Muslims in the predominantly Roman Catholic nation.